I mean, I've got a bit of decent bar set up in the three jaw chuck so I can make what make what repair piece. Just face it off. I'll do is I'll machine the outside diameter first to be a good press fit into the lathe back plate. It's pointless doing any board or anything else because if we make a mistake on that diameter there, the job's scrap anyway. So that's the first thing we'll that's the first thing we'll do. Right, everything's cooled down now so we can take some accurate measurements. We'll do the ball first, put our snap gauge in at an angle. Tighten it up, tighten the little nut up on the end, and then screw it through an arc once, and that's it. Oh my chromata. That is two six two. Two six two seven. And that's two six two eight and a half nine. So we've got about a one and a half thou interference fit between that piece and what a hole about too big. It's just started on the, the little chamfer I put on the end. That should be a nice press fit in there. A little bit of Loctite probably and a press fit in. And uh, that'll be a good repair. Plus this is good material. Better material than the cast so it'll not, it'll not wear away on the register. No need a hole putting through. Boring out. To undersize and then part it off, press it in and start from there. We're back to where we were. Knock the clip off there, the tool was slightly below the centre height. Centre drill in first. This is decent material, this stuff, it's not. Uh, not rubbish. Drill. Run the lathe back here. We'll cool it. You slow the lathe right down. We're we'll cooling pump on.
Tunggu gua. Ah. Doing a bit of work now, that's what it's for. I haven't managed to break it yet. Believe me, I've tried. So quarter iron. Bye, that's going to do. That's the size we're looking for, 1.75. I'll take this to 2 inch. The shot there, Greg's tool height setting cage you sent us. A very handy bit of kit it is indeed. Right, so a parting tool set on centre. It's also probably set square to the job. Easiest way to deal with that. With this type of tool holder, such a commercial tool holder, just put it up against the side of there. Right, so the tool is now on centre height and in line with the job, either on centre height or very, very slightly below. My carriage is lock my carriage off, make sure everything's tight. Leave in the back here. Put some water on as well. Put a bit of water. Right, once we start parting off. We won't be backing off, we'll just wind the tool straight in. When you back off, that's when you back off the time when you break the tool or it digs in. See the job's got a bit of a wobble on. That's just because I had a lot of tool pressure on when I was drilling the hole, pushed it straight in the chuck, it'll not matter. As long as the outside and the front face are parallel to each other, square to each other. I'm cutting that quite nicely. The water definitely helps. And you can see a constant, constant flow pressure to it back off. It's just to catch it will break through.
Right, the way I've got this set up, I've got a piece of bar across here which is resting on the plate so the chuck is just hanging free. I don't want to press on the chuck and run the risk of damaging the chuck or pushing the plate out the line. So I push them directly onto that bar there. I press that straight into there and hopefully that's going to be a nice fit, a permanent fix. I mean, tell me whether to warm this up or not. I'll just go for it cold. It's got about a thou or thou and a half interference on it. I'm going to clean up. This is probably the wrong Loctite. I've used the same stuff for the last 20 years and not a problem with it. But... Okay. That goes into there. When you're pressing something in like this, once it starts to go up, you don't stop. You keep going. That's a nice fit. That's going nowhere. Here I see it here. A thou to a thou and a half, and I warm this bit up just when we blow our heat on the shop, just to take the chill off it. So that's now part and parcel of the job. Ready to bore out power threads. I'll be able to screw the chuck back on the lathe, everything will be running nice and true. So basically, I'm nearly back to where I was. An hour and a half ago, when I bought 10 thou, too much, out of that. It's a close shot there, you can see how it's, it's actually rests on that bit of bar there. See, there was no weight at all on my chuck. Anyway, 